alcohol can be your best friend. Whether if you can handle it, whether if you can control it. We've all been there. The rock stars have done it. The metal heads have done it. The washed up rappers that have done almost everything but this. And even the honky tonk washed up pieces of shit that just sit in their truck and drink all day long. But that's not me. See, most people like to think. Most people can think that this channel, this vlog series, people can think that I've done this over a drinking problem since the very beginning. But they're wrong. You see, when I started this YouTube channel, when I started this YouTube channel, I was sober than my grandmother. And even then, even when I was sober, it may have been a pain in the ass to deal with. It may have been a pain in the ass to handle just so I can stay clean. But the thing was is that something was always missing in my life. Something was always missing. And that was something to help me cope. Medicine. The worst medicine you could possibly think of, right? Because even when I'm drinking, even when I'm smoking pot, whatever, that doesn't make me a bad person. That never made me a bad person. I never once was the hippie type. I never once was a uh, washed up has been. That's always been uh, drinking till my drinking till uh, I'm blue in the face. The only reason why I started doing this, not only was it because of Brad, not only was it because of Adam, but because nobody was able to trust me. Nobody was able to handle me. Nobody was able to control what they have made me become. And that may be being like a rock star, but nah, that's just a death wish. That's a fool's errand. And you see, the thing is, I wish that things were different. I really wish things were different. The, f the problem is, is what we just said before in the last episode. I wanted things to change. I wanted to bury the hatchet. I wanted to let go of what was not important anymore. I wanted to change what was wrong with the situation. I wanted to make amends. I wanted to right all my wrongs. But that didn't happen, did it? No, that didn't happen, did it? Instead, I have this drinking problem that I feel like I need to get off my chest so maybe maybe just maybe it'll become better maybe just maybe I can stop being petty about my mental state because I know I know in this vlog series I can do it I know I can do it I know I can grind I know I could put in the work I know I can make a name for myself even if I wanted to by the snap of my fingers. I know I could do something like that. I know in the bottom of my heart that I don't need this. I I hate. I want I want to become. I want to become the biggest. I want to become the biggest and smartest metalhead that you've ever seen. The biggest metalhead that Palmerin has ever seen. And I think I've done that. I like to think I've done that. I like to think that maybe, just maybe, I can do this without this. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe, I just need you. Because at the end of the day, I'm just still struggling with myself. I'm still struggling to become the alpha I once was. And maybe after this video, all that will change. Maybe, just maybe, this video will save the channel from dying. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll save myself the hassle of trying to win this challenge. I didn't put 
my vlog series on the line for nothing. Oh, hell no. I want to do it because I wanted to. Because I know who I can be. I know what I have become. I know what this vlog series has become. And I'm letting it down on my own because I have this coping. I have this coping problem. And nobody's going to stick up for me. Only I can fight for I. Only I can search for I. Remember that? You search for you. Hmm. It's gonna be... It's gonna be almost six years to the day. And I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting to be myself again. I'm still fighting for this channel to hang on, to hang on just a little while longer. But then again, we've all done it. We've all let shit fail. We've all let shit slide until the bottom line finally hits, until rock bottom happens. As much as I want to be that rock star, as much as I want to be that metalhead, I'm not even close to that fact. But I will be. And you will watch me. You will watch me become Parmenon's only motherfucking miscreant on the planet Earth. And you will find out firsthand that I did this for me and nobody else. Does this video make sense? Does this video make sense, you wonder? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it makes sense. Because ever since COVID, I have never been the same. Nobody's been the same since COVID. Nobody's been the same. Season 2 is my biggest season yet, and I've been trying to beat it for three years. Three years I've been trying to fight, trying to make a bigger season than season two. Is it possible? Can it be possible? Maybe it's not possible. But only if I have that rock star mindset. Forget this shit. Forget that shit. Now it's time to worry about me. The high school reunion's over and I should have quit. I should have quit drinking by now. The moment the high school reunion ended, I should have quit drinking. And yet, and yet it's still a little bit early and yet I'm it's slowly getting there. But I'm not here on this earth to become an alcoholic. I am on this earth to become a alpha. And nobody, nobody in this town, not even on this earth, can understand what I'm going through, what I'm struggling for. Nobody, nobody, not even you, can understand how much of an alpha I can really be if I was just sober. Palmerin, lend me your ears. You, you win this. As far as a drinking problem, as far as a drug problem, as far as that goes, you win. But that's the only war. This is the only war that you've won. You've made me become something that I was never hoping for the future to become. I was never hoping to smoke cigarettes. I was never hoping to become an alcoholic. Hell, even, even when Wolfsmensch was alive and well, I never wanted a drinking problem. I never wanted my life 
to start crumbling down because everybody just had to judge and just had to get rid of me. That fueled a lot of anger in the last 10 years and you thought I had to just take it like a bitch. I'm not your bitch anymore. I'm not going to stand around and let you win any more battles because at the end of the day, you can't win. You can't win even if you goddamn tried. Let me get a little closer here. You can't win. Now that we understand each other, I hope you're happy for what I've become. I hope, I hope, I'm pr I pray that you, I pray that you're glad, that you're happy. This happened to me and I'm glad and I pray that you're happy because guess what? I'm never, I'm never, I am never going to let you win this war. You did this to yourself. You did. You did. You did this to yourself. What comes next? What comes next? <laughs> you don't want to.